So we are removing their spurs. This no. one, he bled a little bit because I was trying to find He's the spray. Swimming. This is his spur. Oh. Okay. I didn't kill it. He fell asleep. This yeah, that's his spur, this yeah. one. Spray it with blue coat. So I've seen many ways how to do this, and this is probably just by far the easiest way. You can see the difference in his spurs. This will harden over, but the easiest way I've seen people do it is basically they just twist it. So they what the heck was that? The video? I'm okay. grabbing his leg. I'm holding his neck. Yeah. Like that. Oh my! Is it that small? It is. I hear it cracking. <sighs> Spray it with this poultry spray. This guy's spray. And then then hairspray, hairspray. No, it's, it's, it's use hairspray bottle if you're sick. I'm gonna get it on my hand. I hope not. I'm gonna grab that one. This I'm is his other one. Like this. this is a really long spur. Get close to it, Lexi. Get right here. I can do it. Oh Lord. Right, ready? Mama, look at her. She's taking a break. Got it real good. Watch the video, not the chicken. I got you. That's it. Uh, All right, hold on. And we're spray. Okay. Clean it. Please don't get on my hand. And then blue coat his spur. Like that. You spray painted him. Like mm -hmm. a fresh paint job. All right. Now what are we gonna do with them? These right there. are their spurs. His cut my hand's skin open, so I had to get him done. There they are. Missy, you okay? Very pointy. All right. She okay? She's just taking a break in the sun. And then her. Yeah, please her. <laughs> She's just <laughs> chilling. So look, show him, the, show him him. He's a big boy, aren't you? He's a big Barb Rock boy. <laughs> oh, hey, there you go, honey. Let me see. So his are short now. They're like this long now. They're short. You can actually, they'll fall asleep. He done pooped all over himself. Look. See, he done knocked out. You killed him. You killed him. Whenever he does are die. Are you videoing? I am videoing. Right. So what's beneficial, I would show you my hand, but I just sprayed her. She had a cut about the size of my thumb, scabbed over about that long from his spurs. So roosters can get a little rough with your hands and he tends to be a little bit more rough. We keep him in a separate pen with our barred rocks and um, he yeah, likes to protect his legs, but the spurs really has hurt some of my last lady. So I wanted to get this done. I've never, I've never done it before. I've never removed spurs from a rooster. This is my first time, and I've had the blue coat because some of my hens that we separated from our other roosters had a bare bottom, so I sprayed them, got them treated, but this is to help. It's minimum bleeding. He's just dripping a little bit of blood, but there's not a lot of pain involved. They'll walk, but she is, she is bare, so she's going to have a break with the other hens for now. I have three more hens in here with him. That I might take all the hens out and he'll be by himself for a little while while they take a break. But uh, <coughs> she's even got broken feathers off her wings from him mounting her. So if you need an easy and quick way, you don't want to grind them, you don't want to cut them, just twist them. It was really easy. They came off really quick. Levi thought, Levi was kind of shocked, weren't you? Weird. And he's, Lawson's got all the, the, the spurs. Um, we've got two other roosters, but they got little nubs. So this is his. This is the inside. Just hollow. It's like a little funnel. And they're all right. These. I'm going to go put him up. That was kind of easy, except for chasing the rooster. <laughs> you had to catch this one. 
This one's in what? His own pen. Mm -hmm. Hey, talk. What? Was it pretty interesting how they come off? Yeah, pretty cool. Well, you shot most about. They just fell off. How, that's all. How short his was after this they came? This was short. The other ones were long. So he's kind of. They're kind of interesting. What do you think, Lexi? Uh, it's gross. We, it's gross. <laughs> Awesome. What'd you think about it? I want somebody. Because they bled a little bit, huh? Mama. What do you that. think? Was it kind of neat how they came up pretty easy? All right. What about you, Macy? Uh, when Mama showed me the stab on that hand, I was like, oh. Yeah, she's got a big bad bobo, so I doctored it. Hopefully, she'll heal. What a male spurs can do to a hand, if you could kind of see. It's not as gross as it's supposed to look, but since I sprayed an open wound from his spur. My rooster got her under her wing here. Let's see if we can show y'all. She, she blue coated it um, a long so time So her wound was up to here. Now it's healing slowly to here. And she's got just a little scab right there. So we're gonna blue coat it. So she had a scab all the way to here. And now it's shorter, so she's gonna That's it right there. Now she's gonna put this is a Barbara chicken. Barbara oh god I the little whatever. Now there she goes. If you can tell you see dirt there. <laughs> Look at all the chickens. Macy, what are you doing? She's got a little spot on her tummy. Yeah, hey, she, were they roost? It's they the do. same chicken? No. No, the same chicken who had the wound but that you thought yeah. that she had that thing in there. It's the same one. So has the a rooster had a talon scar this wide. Now it's half the size. So she's going back up. Warning on these next couple pictures, I'm going to be showing the healing process on this hen. So y'all could kind of get an idea how long it took for this hen to heal from this three inch, almost two, or almost an inch wide gap in her skin. I'm gonna edit this in because I forgot to mention. So it took a little over six weeks, about six weeks for her to heal up. So I would, you know, if she was in severe, you know, dire health that she wouldn't, I wouldn't believe she would have healed. I would have put her down or, you know, done what we needed to do to take care of her. But I believed that she, I could help her heal. It looked awful, y'all though, it did, but she did heal. And you can see, I haven't put her back in with the rooster yet because she is still feathering out and she was quarantined during this time in a, like an outdoor doll cage um, underneath our uh, lean-to that we have. And she did really well and I wound up having to quarantine another hen and healing her. So it's a learning process. I also learned last year or the year before how to heal my chickens from um, the fowl pox. I never did a video on that because I didn't want to be chewed out or, oh, you shouldn't have done this. I healed every one of them for foul pox and it was wet foul pox. They did really well. Over half my flock got infected two years ago, almost. So if you think you can heal your chicken, do so. Um, Betadine, the blue coat works wonders. Um, quarantining them and just letting them heal. Feed them back their egg yolks. It's really good to keep them hydrated and to heal quicker and oregano oil in the water, apple cider vinegar in the water while they're healing, any probiotics that you think they need in case they get an infection. Um, but if you have any questions, let me know. I'll do my best to answer. I've learned, it's been three years now that I've been having my own chickens. I learned a lot from YouTube. I learned a lot from other uh, chicken keepers, I guess you'd call them, chicken owners. So I do my best, um, just let me know and um i'll do what i can to answer and if you need you could email me pictures i could tell you what maybe you could put on your hen or your rooster and so on so this video is really um based off of the hen getting injured and us trying to remove spurs from our roosters it worked out really well um they 
the, the spurs came off really easily. Minimum bleeding. Um, they drip blood a little bit here and there from their cuticles, but they're fine. They never got sick from it. Um, they never limped. So thanks for watching. We appreciate it. God bless y'all. We'll see you next time.